What about love? Don't you want someone to sit on you? What's up, everybody? Hope you guys subscribe and uh, like down below and comment and all that stuff. And one of my next videos today is going to uh, revolve around comments left down below. So not the live chat, but comments down below. So just make sure you leave a comment down below about whatever wrestling topic that you wanted to get to. Um, does not look like I'm going to WWE Raw tonight in Boston. I just couldn't find tickets that I cared about. And also, I don't know. I don't want Seth Rollins to beat me up either. That's really why I'm not going. Um, WWE, tonight in Boston, um, I won't be there. So a lot of people um, always like to come say hi and we have a good time usually when I see everybody. But uh, I'm not coming to Boston tonight, I don't believe. Unless something cha changes for some reason at some point... Um, you know, I can't see it happening at this time. AEW announced Bash at the Beach. A lot of people were really looking forward to that. So, um, AEW, Bash at the Beach, man. Miami. I might have to go down to Miami, man. So, um... I'll be live tonight after Raw, so I hope you guys jump over to my channel after Raw and hang out. Going to Indie Wednesday, Wednesday for AEW, that's cool, man. Pretty pretty pumped up about that. Um, you want me to sue somebody? What's up, Jay Paula? Uh, Joe, I'm going tonight. Oh, what's up, Robert? Are you going tonight, man? Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm not going to see anybody. If I don't, I mean, last minute something could happen and I could end up going, I suppose. But I don't think I'm going to RAW, you know. And I don't know anybody in WWE anymore that would mm -hmm. uh, set anything up. So I don't, I don't, I wouldn't go. I'm sure a lot of my buddies are going. I'm sure there's going to be some like security extras. They always seem to do security gags when they're in Boston. With local wrestlers, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of guys I know that are there, but uh, um, I don't know. What's up? We'll talk about whatever you guys want tonight in Boston. The raw preview. I I didn't see much of a raw preview from what I'm looking at. This is the go home show for Raw, leading into Survivor Series, I believe. But um. You know, I don't think there's anything else really happening that, that I'm aware of unless somebody else cares or knows about it. I think Marty Skrull is still working with uh, Ring of Honor. I just don't know what he's what's going on there. Is Slob75 still mad? Uh, I don't know. No, I talked to Tommy. He seems fine now. I don't know what his problem was last night. That was very strange. Um, Rollins versus Andrade for Raw Captain. Is that really happening? What a joke that is. Yeah, I imagine CM Punk returns on Raw. Yeah, he wouldn't because he's on the Fox show anyway. So if he was going to return anywhere, he'd be returning on SmackDown. You know, because Fox is paying him a shitload. They wouldn't have him come back on Raw, you know. That'd be funny. That sounds like... That sounds like garbage. That sounds terrible. That's so rando. What's going on? Yeah, it's been a... Uh, I was hoping to get some sun. I had to drive to the post office and do all this driving. Then uh, it was funny because um, there's a little hole up in the roof. Um, in the side of the house where squirrels chewed a hole through the house. And um, when we moved in here, there was a big cage thing set up there, and it was all fucked up. So when the people came to do the bees, they were like, well, come by and fix the hole, too. Well, they can't fix the hole. They said in order to get the hole fixed, you need to... They were saying you need to have somebody do the woodwork, but um, they put the cage piece up at least, you know. So... Um, after that hole was chewed out, apparently they did, they redid the roof here, so the roof was all redone. 
but there is a little hole going into the attic, so they sealed that up. Um, but the funny thing is, the guy that came here to do it um, is my friend who lives up the street, so it was really weird. And the weird thing about him living up the street is he grew up with me in Boston. We were like lived near each other, and we were friends growing up. We always hung out. Especially after high school, right after high school, we just stayed friends and we're always hanging out every weekend and he always came over and he's, I've known him my whole life, he's still my friend. And um, he fucking bought a house right before we bought a house, he bought a house up the street, here. So six months before we moved in here, he bought a house up the street and we didn't even talk to each other about it, we didn't even say like... Oh yeah, I'm moving there too. You know, I moved in and then was like, where did you buy your house, dude? I got to come see you or whatever. He goes, and, and he tells me and I'm like, whoa, I'm like, dude, I live right near. So we, we grew up right next to each other our whole lives almost. And, um, now we live a uh, four minute drive away from each other. It's kind of crazy. And we're an we're like almost an hour, you know, 45 minutes away from Boston, an hour outside of Boston. Fox executives are mad at the dog segment. I got to look at that report again. I, I saw that, but I got to look at that report again to find out how real that is. I want to find out how real that really could be. So, uh, that's true. So, yeah, AEW had about 100,000 buys on pay-per-view. Um, AEW is... Tickets are on sale for Miami, uh, Bash at the Beach... Uh, Cody Rhodes tweeted that out earlier. Um, fuck iPhones. And what else is there? Raw in Boston is tonight. I'm not going to Boston. I'm not going to go tonight. Um, and that's about, that's about all I can think of. I'm trying to drink this coffee to wake up. I don't think it's working very well. All I can think about is I want to lay down and go to sleep. There's something wrong. I, mean, I got like a B12 deficiency or a B vitamin B deficiency or something. Something's wrong with me. Oh, God, I feel horrible. And there's no sun out today either, which is a major problem. What's up, Anthony? Drink Monster? Fuck, what the fuck? What, do you want me to die? I doubt Punk will say much about the current WWE landscape backstage. Yeah, I just don't feel like... I just don't care about his opinions on... Fo I mean, he'll be good. I think he'll be good. I just don't... I don't care, personally, what he says. You know? Oh, my God. Dude, I need a shower or something to wake me up. I thought the stream would wake me up. I'm not, I, I don't, I just don't feel woken up though. How is AEW doing the show on Jericho's cruise? I don't know if they are doing that. Did they announce that? I saw, I mean, I see that they're doing the bash at the beach. That's going to be cool. Jim Cornette is giving AEW more publicity when he rants on their wrestling product. He should focus on NWA power. Yeah, but I think that he gets content by criticizing it. To be honest, I'm one of those people that I love AEW, but there are some things about it that I don't like, and I love listening to Jim Cornette. So, you know, I mean, dude, it's an it's an anomaly. It's an anomaly. The guy's making a living off bashing AEW, but every once in a while he says something's good. So, you know, that's cool. Um, <sighs> yeah, a lot of people think I'm not going to Raw in Boston because I'm afraid uh, Seth Rollins is going to try to kill me or something. I'm not scared of Seth Rollins, that's not why. He is a young man that is uh, scared of me. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Um, I did tweet him, though, a minute ago. I said, uh, I'll play you in Madden. Uh, loser uh, deletes their Twitter account. That'd be funny. Do 
Jim Cornette is on WWE payroll. Uh, yeah, you never know. Joe, go there with an AEW shirt front row. I don't have any money to sit front row. It would be funny if WWE had hooked me up with tickets and I'd uh, sat there with uh, my AEW shirt on. That would be funny. Bradley Jean, Baptiste, how you doing, sir? Sir, I did sleep though. It's weird. I slept last night. That's what I don't understand. I went to bed early. I went to bed at like, um, I want to say like two, two a.m. Yeah, I slept like nine hours last night. Dude, I slept nine hours. I slept the most I've slept in a while. I took a break on purpose to sleep. And Leah even took the kids to school, got everybody ready, never woke me up. Leah, Leah never woke me up to say, like, help me or, like, what the fuck or what are you doing? And I only, I woke up because I heard my friend coming in the house. And I was like, why do I hear my friend's name? And he was the guy coming for the pest control stuff. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? He goes, yeah, I saw your name on the list, so I just came over early. And it was like 11.30 when he got here, 11 o'clock, 11, 11, 11.30. And, you know, I had slept nine hours, so I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. You know, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um... But yeah, I don't feel good. I feel like I need sun or I need to take a nap or something. I remember the Smart Busters. Yeah, I remember those guys. I, once in a while I saw them. I, I didn't really get into it, but I, I do remember them. Uh, how did I like the nameless shout out on Tommy's video? Yeah, I don't know what happened last night. I told you, Tommy, Tommy came into my chat during my gaming stream and we weren't talking about him at all. We were just playing video games. He came in the chat and he like ranted on 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 everybody and it was weird. Then he went live like five minutes later, and then like everybody, some some people went over there to troll him like, hey, fucking slob, fake fuck, slob, JCS, like stuff like that. And then he went on the, all this huge rant about me and the community and all this stuff, and it was like, well, you kind of shit on everybody in the chat for no reason. And then went live, and then didn't expect that people would troll you. Like, it was kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway, I talked to him now. He's fine now. He was just said he said he was having a bad day or something. I don't know. It's fucking weird. That's why he did it. I wasn't talking about him. Oh, maybe. I have no idea. It was very strange. Like, he was really upset, though. So I was like, dude, why didn't you just... Why would you come in my chat and flip out? Are there, by the way, if there's a donation going off and somebody donates, please tell me. I think they're on, but if there's something not working, please tell me. I think they're all on, but just in case. Um, WWE ain't counter program. Yeah, I wonder if the WWE will do slam like slam at the beach. WWE does uh, beach mania. Someone probably told told him you were talking about him even though you weren't. Maybe. He kind of came in like that. He came in like he was pissed off. But uh, it was like, uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, there's always weird mystery stuff with Tommy. You know? I mean, the amount of other people that, that come to me with stuff and they go, Hey, why did you do this? And then I go, I didn't do that. Who said that? And then I'm told who said it. And then I look at what happened, then I prove that I didn't do anything like that. And then they're like, oh, wow. And people start to learn who the scumbags of the community have been and are. So they'll figure it out. But for, but Tommy, unfortunately, Tommy's easy to manipulate because he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. So when people go and tell Tommy things, he just believes all of it. So unfortunately, some people like to manipulate Tommy in a weird way that's kind of like sick or whatever. But I'm not going to get into that. It is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, Jeff Stommers, Jeff, thank you for becoming a patron, man. I saw you just became a patron, dude. Thank you very much for the two dollar Patreon there. Uh, I might be dehydrated. You're right. You're right. I rate news. You might. You might be right. I might need water. That's a great point. You got black box disease. What the fuck is that, John Stella? Um, 
Um, I wouldn't compare. See, I, I'm not, see, I'm not even the Astros. Whatever they won, bro. Whatever they did, they won. It's too late. They won. You know, if you want to find them now, if you can prove they did this stuff and find them or something, um, go ahead and do that. But they won the World Series. Fuck it. It's too late. They won however they won, and they won. I'm not one of these people that's like, oh no, you know, it's it's too late. Sonna, thanks if you became a patron, man. What's up? Not enough iron in my diet. Uh, I eat a lot of steak and a lot of salmon, so I don't know. I think I have plenty of iron, but I have been anemic before. I have gone anemic before twice in my life, so um, I probably need some water, probably need some B12, probably could take an iron pill for a couple of days. What up, D-Moon? I'll give you some Duncan cock. Um, yeah, I just don't, I'm not a fan of going back in time, unless it's like something insane, you know? Uh, I think the 49ers can beat the Packers, but the 49ers are like the Patriots to me. It's like they have these things about them that are great, but they are, they've got a, they're not totally unbeatable either. You know what I mean? The the best teams in the league are, are pretty impressive, but they're not unbeatable. You know what I mean? Um, I would say the Ravens are approaching that. There's a black box on my screen and nobody told me, come on guys, what are you doing? Tell me about the black box way earlier. Is the black box gone now? What up, villain? I don't take uh, multivitamins, no. I probably should take some vitamins, yeah. All right, thank you, guys. I got rid of the box. I'm just, you know. Man, I don't know. Joe, they cheated, and you're acting like it's not a big deal. Um, no, it is. I mean, they had a video, you know, they had a TV in the dug out, I mean, that's definitely cheating, it's fucked up, but it's too late now, you know, I don't think it's cool, but it's just, you know what I mean, what the fuck, I don't know, I think Colin Kaepernick could, I don't, I just annoyed by all the stuff by him, you know what I mean, similar to, um, who was the religious guy who was the quarterback, what's his name, uh, T T Tebow, Tim Tebow, yeah, Tim Tebow was annoying as well because just because of all the media circus around nothing. So like that's how I feel about Colin Kaepernick. I don't like the dumb media circus. I don't like the dumb crybaby mentality. Like I, I don't want I'm sick of talking about that. So you know, I don't know. I don't um I don't know. Yeah, it's the attitude I don't like from Kaepernick. Um, I, I don't think that what he did was... Um, I don't think what Kaepernick did was like wrong or anything. I'm not against what he... What some of what he did. I don't think that... Um, I don't have a problem with displaying, like, you know, your dispassion or upset or displeasure with this, with, with Super Chat Party. JCS on my lunch break, bruh. What a goat. What up, Spaz? How you doing, dude? Spaz Phoenix, what's up, baby? Thank you, dude. That was that. For, at least the donations work. I wasn't sure if they were on or not. I thought we had a problem or something like that. Uh, Spaz Phoenix, you have a good lunch, man. You eat that sausage or you eat that salad or whatever you're doing. I had a fucking awesome salad last night. Let me tell you something, man. I had this garden salad. I don't know why it tasted so good. I don't know if they put like jizz in the fucking salad, but I had a salad from uh, Outback. 
because my mother was over and she bought us Outback, which was a real sexy treat. And um, it came with a salad, this big garden salad, and I put the blue cheese on it. I don't know what it was, but it was damn good, man. I was like, wow. I'm halfway through this coffee and I feel like I'm not waking up at all. I feel like I'm still sleepy. I don't know. Was the AEW belted out back? Wasn't that like a a different place? Wasn't it like Golden Corral or some shit? I don't know. Colin wants to be a martyr, not really play football. Yeah. Would I go to Raw if I was offered free tickets? Uh, p- maybe, probably, yeah. Especially if I could get my daughter in, because um, Brenna wants to go uh, really bad. But, uh, you know, I'd take her to her first wrestling show. She wants to see it. So she might actually really like it. You know, Gavin's kind of like, oh, whatever. I kind of like Dean Ambrose. You know, he that's what he said. When I used to take him... I took him twice, and he both times he was like, I like Seth Rollins, and I like Dean Ambrose. That's what Gavin would say. Um, and when he was real young, he liked Roman Reigns for a second, and he liked John Cena before that. My daughter loves John Cena. Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't even understand. Like, she, she barely even ever seen him wrestle or anything. But she just, she knows who he is, and she loves John Cena. He's not even wrestling. And she's like, I love John Cena. I'm going to marry John Cena. And I'm like, what? What the fuck? Um, Yeah, it's weird. Little girls. So, apparently Brenna's got a type. That's why he's in Hollywood. Good point, too sweet. I think uh, if we were all remember AEW Classic Names, Dave25, that uh, Cody filed for a bunch of trademarks, and I think I'm sure that was one of them. I think that... I think that the person... If I was sitting in, a, in an AEW arena, and there was a match that was going to happen, and there was one guy that could come out of the curtain that's in the company right now. And the person I would get the most pumped up and excited for is probably Cody Rhodes for me, for me. Um, number two would be, I mean, probably Jericho. It's, it's either Jericho or Cody, to be honest, either one. But as a good guy, as a face that I want to, I actually want to cheer for Cody. It's weird. They got me, man. It's weird. It's bizarre. But nobody else really has me. Everybody else, I just feel like, cool, I'm going to see that. I'm going to see those guys have a great match probably or whatever, you know. Um, But the one guy that I'd be like, here we go, you know. I feel a little bit like that for Darby Allin in a way. Like, I feel a little bit, like, not fully, but a little bit. Because he's a little bit of a punky, skating fuckhead. But there is a part of me that's like, I want to see him hit that coffin drop on somebody. And, you know, when I hear... Super Chat. Yeah, what up, Spaz? Kaepernick doesn't play football. He plays foot in myth ball. He probably ghost rode all. Jordan Peele's anti-Caucasian movies. <laughs> well, he's half Caucasian, so that's bad for him if he's doing that. I mean, he's half white. You know, he's a, he's a half white. If anything, he should be making jokes about bridging the gap. He's a guy who was raised by a white family who's half white himself. So... I don't even believe, uh, he's just a fucking attention bitch. Um, Spaz Phoenix, thank you, Spaz. Um, again, like I said, I kind of, rest- I, I, I didn't like the pig socks, you know, um, you know, I, I don't know, like, I'm not. I know that some cops are really bad. I know that there's some really bad stuff that happens. I know that that happens. And I'm not happy about it. But I know that also that there's a lot of cops that are really good. And, you know, that's not, you know, 
I don't like lumping everybody into one thing, whether it's um, when you lump in cops, when you lump in white people, when you lump in black people, when you lump in Muslims, when you lump in Christians, when you lump in whatever. Like, you really got to do your best to try not to get angry at a whole entire group of people and try to demonize a whole group of people. Whether they're cops, whether they're blacks, whether they're whites, whether they're Asians, whether they're Muslims. I love making jokes about all that stuff. And I think we all should be doing that. I think it's fucking hilarious. We all should be making jokes about each other, racial humor, sexual humor. I love it. That's what brings us together is those jokes. No, bullying, like actual bullying isn't really good. But, you know, if you want to call some jokes with each other bullying, then you're kind of a pussy. Um, but yeah, actually doing harm to everybody and lumping them into a group, uh, in a negative way is, I don't like that because that's when you get dangerous stuff happening. When you get cops who see like certain groups of people as more of a threat, and then you get certain groups of people thinking cops are more of a threat than they, they might be. Uh, then you get this really unstable, untrustworthy balance. Uh, it's out of whack. And so you start seeing uh, police officers as non-humans. You start seeing police as, like, they're not human. They don't have the same rights I, I should have. And when you see a race of people as white... Super Chat this Party! Football is played with earthy like in England. Yeah, I mean, American football makes no sense, I get it. Why hate? What's up, why hate? The super chat party. Um, thank you, Why Hate. Yeah, we. I'm sorry. In America, we call it football. I don't know why. We should call it like helmet ball or something like, or like helmet face or like big dumb asshole ball. I don't know, mm -hmm. something like that. Throw ball. You know, QB ball, quarterback ball, throw ball, toss ball, field ball, anything. It's not a fucking ball, first of all. Gridiron. It should be something, but it ain't football. Never made sense. Never made sense at all. Uh, yeah, EA Games, uh, you might... I know what you're saying about stats, about violent crimes and stuff like that. I, I get what you're saying. But, um, I don't want to say that anybody's a threat over anybody, you know what I mean? Um, I don't really like that. That sounds weird to me, but I do understand that in poorer areas, you're going to see more crime and more murder and stuff like that, and, um, you know, that's what happens, and yeah, maybe that's true, but it is true, but... I don't, I don't want to focus on that because that's weird. Because there's like a lot of people, a lot of those numbers are inflated in those really poor city areas. And uh, gen gen generally, when you get um, anybody outside of those bad areas, um, the crime rate to me is about the same. You know what I mean? When you get people, middle class, middle uh, blue collar workers, middle class workers, when you get out of that poverty level, uh, drug areas. You know, everybody pretty much operates the same. Uh, but when you get into poor areas and drug areas, um, you see that displacement of, you know, people trying to get out of the, uh, whatever. It always turns into political stuff on, on these uh, vlogs. You ever notice that? Like, we're talking about wrestling, and it turns into, like, oh... I'm like, am I live on my corrupted channel right now, or is this the Joe Cronin show? I try to keep it only wrestling over here, but hey, you guys are staring the topics. This is your fault. <laughs> um, soccer is not an American thing. Yeah, the first the name soccer was from the UK, I believe. I think the whole soccer thing came from the UK. Technically, the ball in football is not a true ball. That's what I'm saying, Arknolia Stroke Bean. That's what I'm saying. It's not a fucking ball. It's not round. It's a goddamn fucking... It's a big giant dick. 
Jose uh, Renato. Uh, soccer is a woman's sport. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Sphere. J Niners fan. Oh, man. There was a shooting at Walmart. Did that happen, really? It's a sphere, so by definition, it is a ball. That's a good point, Truth Lock. I guess it is technically considered a sphere. It's not a circle, it's a sphere. Which makes it a ball. That's a good point. Good point. Um, yeah, the black guy getting arrested eating a sandwich. I did see that. I looked into it more, though. I looked into it more, and you're not supposed to eat on that platform. But that cop was there for a different reason. But here's the thing. Here's why I'm not that outraged about that. Those fucking goddamn bus cops... Super Jack! Super Jack! Why support these stupid gimmicks like Switch Guy? I have no idea, Broken Lion. I don't know what is wrong with people, but they're killing wrestling, man. Broken Lion, thank you for the donation. I, they're killing wrestling, dude. I mean, uh, what can you say? It's awful. Um, But no, I was... Uh, Broken Lion, thank you, man. Broken Lion! Yeah, for the people that didn't see the video, it's a guy, it's a black guy, I mean, whatever. It's not a... To me, it's, it's not even a racial thing, but people made it a racial thing. Um... The cop, the white douchey cop, you know, if you want to make it a racial thing, I'll make sure I tell you the cop was a white douchey white cop, was called there because some lady was drunk or acting belligerent or something like that, and he gets there, he walks around, doesn't find the lady, but then sees a guy eating a sandwich on uh, the, the, uh, the commuter rail or whatever you want to call it in the station, and you're not supposed to eat out there, I guess. I don't know what the reason is, but it's private property, so... Technically, like, if they're enforcing a rule of the company, like, they can, you know, it's a problem. Um, the guy was, like, trying to identify the guy, and he's like, dude, I'm eating a sandwich. And the guy wouldn't cooperate with the cop, so the cop's like, well, I'm going to write you a ticket. You know, or I'm going to arrest you, you know. So if the guy identified himself, the cop was going to write him a ticket. If the guy didn't identify himself, he was going to arrest him. And the guy's just like, I'm eating a fucking sandwich, man. And some girl's yelling at the cop, like... You're stopping a black man who's eating, just eating food, and they're screaming at the cop. But here's the thing. The cop technically is not wrong. He is enforcing the law. That was the only guy there eating a sandwich. Is it retarded? Is it stupid? Yes, I agree. It's dumb. And did the cop need to do this? Could the cop just have, like, kind of, like, looked the other way? I think so. Could the cop have been, like... Hey, bro, uh, you're not supposed to eat out here. Here we go. I'm about to get it, man. Here we go. About to get it, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 no. Yes, it happened. Three people dead and 22 wounded. It just went and this world needs to die. Where? Where is this? John Wills, where is this happening? What the fuck? Are you serious? Man, I have a Walmart right up the street. I'm at it like every day. Now, every time I go there, I'm like, uh... Oklahoma? Oh, that fucking figures. All right, well, whatever. Check out my gun. It's going to work. I live in Massachusetts. I don't think we're going to see a problem here. Something happens in Massachusetts, though. I will be shocked. I'll be like, whoa, shit. Okay, this is crazy. Uh, um, no, but so, yeah, so my point is, if I was the cop... Now, you don't know if the cop... Think about this, guys. I want you to think about this. The cop could have possibly been in trouble at some point for not enforcing the eating law or the ticket or whatever it is. Like, dude, there's shit everywhere still. You guys aren't fucking enforcing this. Enforce this. We can't have trash all over the fucking rail, all over the place. There was shit everywhere. Enforce. We need to enforce this. So we don't know if that happened to the cop and that it's been going on. And so that's why he felt the need to absolutely write this ticket. Why, but here's my problem. I know that the cop doesn't need to be a human being. He can be a dick if he wants. He comes off as a dickhead. And I know that. And I'm sure that 
in the video, you know, he's already been yelled at and the, the camera got turned on after everything. Um, and so he's just annoyed and he's like, and he's very normal. Like, yep. Um, just go ahead. And if I, if he identify himself, uh, I can go ahead and write you the ticket. If you're not going to identify yourself, we're going to take you to jail. And the cop was just being very like, he was like Bill Belichick. If Bill Belichick was a cop, it's not like he was tasing the guy, killing him, like anything like that. He was kind of like even holding onto the guy's coat with his fingers because the guy was trying to like get away. And the cop was like, no, no, you're going to be under arrest. Come here. Now, is that stupid? Yes. Is the guy probably on a little bit of a power trippy thing like douchebag cop? Yes. If I was a cop, what I would say is, hey, dude, listen, I was out here about another call, but I see you. I have to say I have to normally write you a ticket. So I know you're eating your food or whatever. You're not supposed to eat on the platform. Like, it's a ticket. I'm supposed to write you a ticket right now. I don't want to do that. So just finish up, throw that away, or, or please leave the platform while you eat if you can. I'm sorry to bother you, but it's just, I'm, you, maybe you didn't know. It's just we can't have people eating out here, you know? And if the guy said, what, what is the guy going to say after that? You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, man. All right, I'll, whatever. And then he goes and throws it away. Or like, yeah, oh, oh, he leaves the platform. Now, if he doesn't do either one of those, then he just keeps eating. And you step away, and then the guy just keeps eating there. Um, you know. All right, bro, like, gave you a chance. I'm going to write you a ticket. You know? I don't know. That's just how I would operate. I don't know. If that's not what the cop said it looked like. It looked like the cop just said, uh, yeah, can I see your ID? And I'm going to write you a ticket. You're not supposed to eat on the platform. It's a $50 fine. Uh, but the cop technically didn't do anything wrong. The cop did do what he's supposed to do. Um, so it's one of those things. It's like, are you really going to... I don't want to nitpick about that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, There's cops out there that are doing other stuff that is really bad. This cop is just trying to write a ticket for something he has the legal right to write the ticket. So... Cops did this to me. So when people are sending me this and they're like, oh, the racist cop and all oh, the poor black guy was just trying to eat on the platform. I, I don't feel sympathy because the cops yelled at me for this. When I was a fucking 14 and 15 year old kid in high school, I did the same thing. I tried to bring my coffee onto the goddamn platform where I was and they wouldn't let you. And one time they, they were like, you're going to, we're going to ban you. And they were screaming at me about stuff and like, well, f like all kinds of stuff. Like I got in trouble like for nothing. And they were always pricks. And it's like, this is just cops. Like I agree. They're kind of dicks, but you know what? At the same time, I'd rather the guy yell at me about, I'm going to write you a ticket than you know, shooting people somewhere or like that type of stuff. You know, let, let's go, let's go find those things out. You know, this is dumb. Like, let, are we going to pick everything apart? And of course the title says white cops, you know, arrest black guy for eating. And it's like, that's not, that's not what happened. You know what I mean? It's like the guy's not arrested for eating until you find out that the signs on the platform that say like, do not no eating, no food allowed beyond this point. Like it's. It, it's, you'll be fine. Like it says that, you know what I mean? So the guy was enforcing the law. Now, if there's a white guy eating food over there and he comes by and just gives the black guy a ticket and then just walks on, that's fucking weird. Now, now we have a problem. If there's some kind of weird dis discrepancy where that cop walks by white people eating all the time, doesn't say anything, and now when a black guy is eating, he's going to stop him and say something, that is a discrepancy. That is a problem. But that's not what happened in the video at all. So, I don't know. I feel bad for the dude who just wanted to eat his sandwich. Yeah, I do, but at the same time, like... If I'm if I'm eating on a platform and a cop stops me and it's like, hey, hey, you know there's no eating out here. I'm gonna have to write you a ticket for that. I'd be like, Are you fucking serious? 
And then he was like, yeah, there's signs everywhere. You can't come out here and eat. It's it's a fine. I'd be like, God, like, what the hell? Like, can I, I'll, I'll leave and eat. Can I leave and eat or can I throw it out? Will you cut me a break? Maybe the cop does. Maybe the cop goes, yeah. All right, chuck, chuck it out, chuck it out. All right, just, just, just go throw it out. You know, there's a way to talk to people where you can get out of almost a lot of things. And if the cop in the end says, no, I'm sorry, I got to write the ticket. Fuck it. I guess you're going to get a fine. You know what I mean? Then fight the ticket if you want, I suppose. But um, I would try to haggle with the cop myself. I'd be like, listen, man, I had no idea. If I knew that you couldn't eat beyond this, I wouldn't be eating. I'd have been like, well, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to get fined. I had no idea. I missed the sign. Can I throw it out? Can I eat out there and come back? Um, whatever. You, you, Most likely the cop would be like, okay, man, just, just yeah, yeah, throw it out or, or go, whatever. But this guy started with, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking to you. I'm not giving you my ID. I'm not doing anything. You know what I mean? It's like, so right then and there, it's just like, oh, here we go. You know, I mean, I get it. Cops are over abusive in some, in some cases, but, um, who the fuck knows? So there's a Walmart shooting in o- Oklahoma right now. And, uh, I did not know about that. So that's crazy. Two are dead. 22 are injured. How did he, how did they take the guy down? Is someone is is someone with a gun actually ever going to take out one of these people? Can someone tell me if you have any information? I have no information because I'm, I'm in my car right now. I'm probably going to go inside in a minute and go on my corrupted channel and talk about this at some point. Um, speaking of that, my neighbor cop just got home. I should go. I guess I should go see him. My neighbor, like two houses up, the other day we were walking around. I was like, "What do you do, man? What do you What do you do for work?" Then he's like, "I'm a cop," and I'm like, "Oh, cool." So we got a cop on the street. That's always good. He's a big dude. It was a double murder suicide. Double murder suicide. So you're telling me that the guy killed himself and someone else. And someone else, and then injured twenty-two other people. Three killed in shooting a Walmart parking lot. How did twenty-two people get injured? Is that a real number? Or is that just is it a murder suicide and nobody was injured? How the hell was twenty-two people injured? Walmart doesn't sell handguns and stops selling ammo. Yeah, I saw that, Keith. So weird. 22 injured? What the fuck? The cop would probably come over and smoke the weed with me, Awandi. I mean, weed is legal here. So it's I can walk out on my fucking lawn and smoke weed. Well, yeah, white white males are kind of demonized the way they used to demonize black males. It, there's always got to be a male we demonize. You know, we used to demonize black males. Oh, he's a thug. Oh, he's a whatever the fuck. Now it's like white males are like, oh, they're all nasty, racist, fucking something. It's um, it's weird that we do that to people, you know, of any any people. But this all we have a lot of black listeners, so you shouldn't be uh. You shouldn't be that negative to our uh, our black friends, or I might have to fucking kick your ass, bro. Forty percent of my audience is a minority, so a lot of Latino, Hispanic, a lot of black, a lot of minority. So when you say stuff like that, not only does it like you look retarded for that, you know what I mean? Because the audience sees you and they're like, that guy's weird. Um, 
but also, you know, eventually you get fucked up in the, in the mods, you know. <laughs> Antoine Pleasant, I'm a 40 percenter, what's up, Antoine? And I'm not even a fucking, I'm not even like a SJW type either, these are just people that are real, that want to be here because I'm not fake about stuff, I'm a little bit, I mean, everybody's a little fake, I guess, but I mean, I am a little bit, but. I mean, I'm not, I'm just, I am whatever the fuck, like, I'm not, I don't, I'm the same way with stuff that I believe, I guess, I don't care about what anybody is, but I also don't suck people's asses either, you know, I mean, we're all just, we're all just humans, man, like, it's like, everybody's gonna take care of everybody and uh, be cool to each other and take it easy. Uh, did my facial hair grow back? I mean, I got kind of, this has been a week, right? This has been about eight, oh, this has been eight days, about eight days. Oh no, has it been eight days? Uh, yeah, this is about, we're on day number eight right now. We're growing back here. Uh, Vince McMahon's nuts smell like money. What's going on, bro? EA Games, what's up, bro? Am I going to get banned for my opinion? No, you're not going to get banned, dude. You won't get banned for your opinion. I'm a happy independent. I don't fall into the far left uh, censorship wall of bullshit. Nor do I fall under the far right psychotic fucking Richie bumhole group either. I'm nice and liberal for you. I mean, I'm nice and <laughs> I'm nice and independent for you. I enjoy it. 15 hour stream is going to be coming up towards the end of the week. So the movie Face Off. Yeah, Nicolas Cage and um, John Travolta. I like that movie, man. I saw it a couple times. Do I like Destiny 2? I do have Destiny 2. No, I don't. Oh, it's free on Xbox? It's weird. I have Destiny on Xbox, but I have Destiny 2 on PlayStation 4 before I broke my PlayStation 4. So that's weird. The game was so bad, they started shooting. Um, Joe Moon, what up, man? As long as you're not actually racist, then you'll be alright in, in my chat. You pretty much can do a lot of shit in my chat. But, you know, if you are being pretty racist eventually people are going to figure it out and then you're probably going to get fucked up weirdos in here on a race crusade yeah see like i don't i don't see all the chat but i mean if you are being weird like and it's bizarre eventually everybody's going to be like have you seen this guy joe you know it's fucked up mass shooting in california attributed to asian community violence media memory holes it because it doesn't fit the narrative uh, that's true. Um, yeah, California's got most, has uh, had like a couple shootings this week. I'm black and my, my white, wait a minute. I'm black and white. My wife, Asian, got them Tiger Woods running around. <laughs> that's awesome. That's fucked up. For real, our country is getting crazy with all the shootings. Yeah, this is nuts. Hopefully it's, hopefully this, I mean, it's been a little while. Believe it or not, that sounds fucked up to say, but it's like almost, we went, almost went, we almost went a long time without a shooting. And then the media wanted to say it was going to happen to the Joker movies, and that didn't happen. And then this happens. So, man, I don't know. Would I ever come to Scotland? What's up, Vince McMahon's nuts? Um, I'm a little afraid of Scotland ever since they arrested that guy for a joke almost. Um, didn't they, like, fine and arrest and trial, try the guy who uh, made a Nazi joke about his dog? Kind of afraid of Scotland. 
I, I wanted to go to Scotland for a while. I was like, hell yeah, Scotland, Ireland, like one of those two. I'll go to Scotland or Ireland. I have Scottish and I Irish heritage, so, you know, it'd be nice to go up there. And, but now I'm kind of terrified of your country. <laughs> like, like, I mean, in America, you might get shot, but, you know, in Scotland, you might go to jail for making a joke. Count Dankula, yeah. I'm a little bit uh, terrified. Just meet up with General Jerry, yeah. Uh, I'd go to Ireland if I was going to meet up with General Jerry. He's not in Scotland. He's in Ireland, isn't he? I, 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 I've been very liberal. I almost want to buy a gun. I, I think I want to buy a gun. And I'm liberal. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's it. I'm, I'm really wanting to start a podcast soon, but I can't decide what to talk about. I'm into wrestling, of course, and all the sports and shit. Do you think that would work to do it all? Or should I focus on one at a time? Maybe a different show for each? Okay, Robbie Hyde, it's really hard to do one of each. That's going to be really hard to do that. Um, I would say go stick with one. That's just my personal opinion. Is stick with Super Chat Party. Why does Jim Cornette call Kenny Omega Olivier? Lol. Well, he talks about Kenny Omega. Why hate? What's up, why hate? He talks about Kenny Omega having these weird hand mannerisms and gay like mannerisms and all this stuff and theater, whatever. So, Olivier is like a kind of a joke for like uh i think it's like a joke about that type of thing like uh it's it's a, he's calling him basically calling him fucking like a fruitcake basically i mean you know it was a like like you're in theater you're theater acting it's like a gay actor whatever broadway someone's saying broadway actor yeah it's like a thing like that like a performance like oh i'm putting on a performance like it's like it's that type of thing i don't really remember though but, uh, yeah, uh, going back to what I was saying. Hey, guys, thank you for those donations, too, by the way. Uh, who the fuck was that? We got uh, Why Hate. Thank you, Why Hate. Robbie Hyde, John Wills earlier, Broken Lion, and everybody else. Thank you guys for dropping those. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, man, I want to I wanna, I wanna buy weapons. I'm, I'm like, dude, like, I used to make fun of the type of person that I'm becoming. I used to, when I was 20, I was like, fuck those people, like, fucking, oh, I gotta bunker down with my weapons, they're gonna take my weapons, oh. I used to make fun of that shit all the time. Now, I'm like, holy fuck, they're, they're gonna, they really are gonna do that. I need to start buying supplies, <laughs> like, it's so weird, man, like, I was, I am literally the person that I made fun of 15 years ago, and I'm like, is this an age thing? But it's not. Because 15 years ago, it really did not feel at all like they were coming to do any of these certain things. It was like, that's not going to happen. And even now, it doesn't feel like they're going to 100% because that we can kill, they kill children and it, they don't, they don't, they don't fix the gun laws even when they shoot kids. I'm in favor of, of strict gun laws. Like I am, I, that's just me. But I am in favor of every American be able to being able to own weapons, you know what I mean, that are equal to whatever, you know. Like it's, but there's lots of ways you could make gun laws better and make people safer. But at the same time, you can't make anybody safer because um, th th there's some things you do that that would that would stop some of these shootings. There's no doubt about it. That's just a fact. If you did something, if you did some things, you could reduce these gun uh, attacks by maybe 20%, 10%, something like that. And that is worth it to me. But um, as long as you're not taking people's freedom away and you're not taking the weapons away from people who are responsible gun owners, uh, that's where we have a problem. I don't even like guns. I don't have a gun. I don't really didn't ever want one. Uh, they're fun to shoot, I guess. Uh, my wife is shotguns, and she doesn't like them either, but she shotguns a whole bunch. Uh, I'm cool with it. But um, 
there's just got to be a way uh, to fix things a little bit. Uh, but you're never going to fix everything because you have the problem with the easy access to guns and the crazy mentality of people in the country, um, the fatherless people, the broken marriages, uh, like 40% divorce rate or something or whatever it is. I don't know what it is now. 60, I don't know. Fucking it's crazy. People growing up in broken homes, um, people growing up raised by the state, the government impeding on everything, uh, tablets and phones and everybody's hands and just zombie shit, uh, culture. Like it's very fucking crazy. It's, it's a, it's a whole problem. There's so many, there's so many parts to the problem. It's a spectrum. It's not a, uh, it's not a gray or it's not a black or white. It's not a line left or right. It's literally so many things all rode up into a ball. And that's why nobody can get the answers correct because the answer isn't two dimensional. The answer is three dimensional. And if you can't think three dimensionally about this problem, you're never going to fix it. If you think it's one or the other, that's not it. It's, it's way deeper than that. This to fix this problem would be, you have to create an action plan of all these different things, and you're going to have to hit on all these different things, including mental health and um, see something, say something reports. But you also then have to straddle the line of not becoming, uh, we're going to go raid anybody who says anything and be turning into Chinese, China and becoming communist. So you got to be careful that you remain free but yet you do everything in your power that makes sense to respond to threats and to investigate threats. And if they're not real, fine. But if they, if there's anything to them, you might want to take a look. And you might have an action plan for uh, mental health and the signs that lead to somebody doing something. Um and all those things, their environment, where they're living, access in the house to things, uh, holding people who are gun owners responsible uh, for the people that are in their house. If you have a mentally unstable, weird kid in your house uh, who's had the cops called on him 15 times, you know, should you be owning these military assault weapons? Um, you know, are... And if you, and maybe you can, but are they locked up the right way? You know, so if, if the cops go to investigate a mentally unstable person, um, and the guy's been making threats and they investigate the home and they find assault rifles in arm's distance or in a box that's accessible for the mentally fucked up guy, uh, you know, that's kind of weird. Maybe we need to come up with some kind of uh, situation for that. You know? I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that is. That's a tough one. That's where we run into problems. Like, listen, ma'am, this guy has had violent outbursts in the past, and you're leaving your guns here unlocked in the house, assault weapons. You know? You can't just say, lock them up, we'll see you later. You know, we can't just say, store them correctly and, and leave them later. You know, that technically that's freedom though. Freedom is like, you shouldn't be telling that person what to do with their guns, but what do you do? There's a guy in the house who maybe stabbed somebody once in a fucking restaurant and is has outbursts. And is now online talking about he's going to hurt somebody. Now you're in that person's house and there's the guns. And that person's in there. And the, the parents are like, well, there are guns. They're not his. What do you do? Do we come up with a jail time for the people? Do we take the guns away? You know, do we... What do you do? If they have a shotgun, maybe they're allowed to keep the shotgun but maybe you take maybe there's a law that, that you can take the assault rifles because they weren't locked up and you had a person who was a registered mental person whatever the fuck so maybe you take the assault rifles but legally you can never take a shotgun you know what i'm saying so the american still gets their freedom of listen you still get your freedom that you get your shotgun but 
because you didn't lock up the guns properly, we can't leave you with the, the assault rifles are now confiscated. And they have to go through a process to get them back, if they want them back. And maybe that is that the person who's mentally unstable has to leave the house or has to be somewhere else. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just brainstorming this. I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just brainstorming shit out loud and seeing what you guys think about all that. I don't know. Uh... A symbol for America is a gun? Is that true? What symbol for America is a gun? <laughs> Yo, S. Dalla, what's up, man? I, I just went down to get my P.O. box, and they told me I couldn't get it because I have to fix my ID. So I still can't give you my P.O. box to send me the belt back yet. So my bad, dude. I'll Hopefully tomorrow I'll have it up, dude. Um... Uh, EA Sports, I don't agree with you. I do agree with you, but I don't agree with you. I, I get that, like, everybody's really tribal. So when you get a lot of, tr of uh, a lot of, like, one race together, um, sometimes it can be more prosperous. But I think it's really money. I think it's class. I think it's, if you're working jobs that are good and you live in a neighborhood it doesn't matter to me I don't think I don't think it matters what race anybody is it doesn't matter it's really about prosperity and your environment I think um, yeah you're going to have more to clash on if there's different races because tribally we can pick each other's differences out easily like hey fat fuck or hey whitey fuck or hey black fuck you know, everybody can kind of like pick on each other's race, but you know, I have two, I have two black families to my right and an interracial couple over there. And then most of the rest of the neighborhoods are white. And then there's an Asian family and a middle Eastern family. And I mean, we all fucking love each other here from what I've seen. So I don't know, man, I don't know what to tell you. I grew up in Boston in an area um, with so many Asian people, um, Hispanic, black, white, and the school was probably 40% white and 60% minorities, different minorities, and we never had hate crimes, we never had anything involving hate with that stuff. Everybody everybody create, did, like, created their own groups, but... Everybody was also mixed in together. It wasn't like, I don't know. I'm just telling you my experience. I know that you have a perception or a perception of whatever, but I don't know, man. It wasn't a problem there. Um, I think it just depends on money. You know, All right, people are always fighting and have problems. It's usually because of poverty. I'm afraid I might use it on myself, Thomas Bison. Dude, I'm the same way. If I had a gun, I'd, this is some days I'd just be like, you know what? I'm gonna yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want one either. It's Boston, dude. Of course, everyone's diverse. Yeah, but I mean, everyone was diverse where I was in Boston. Not in Boston, by the way, just outside of Boston. But still, everybody was very diverse. But now I live in an area that's mostly white. You know, I just happen to live on a street in an area that does have like. Uh, different people and I mean there's no I don't know man it's all about uh, I don't know this is neither neither place had racism and problems from what I could see Jeff 94 what's up what up Jeff 94 uh, me and Dave have to record um, <clears throat> the Epstein podcast still so many other things that I did uh, over this weekend Including a lot of paperwork and bullshit I had to do online. In fact, I got to go inside now and I got to I got to do all kinds of bullshit that I forgot about. So uh, do a podcast about Roger Stone after Epstein. That's probably a good idea, Costanza. I think we will do that. Probably some of the the more. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy the the Epstein podcast. It should be really good, and then we'll do Roger Stone. 
That sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Um, but I better go because I am, you just reminded me that I'm way behind on everything I have to do before I can even record anything today. I gotta go inside and do a bunch of shit. Um, Naji, uh, what's up Naji? Uh, I don't know what you said in Arabic, but what's up? Start monetize this at 3 p.m. <laughs> Jesus. 15 hour stream, probably be at the end of the week. Um, it's going to be hard to pick what day to do the 15 hour stream, but we'll figure it out. Uh, thanks to everybody who hung out with me. What's up? And everybody who donated too, thank you as well. And S dot dollar, I'll hit you up soon, man, when I get that fucking PO box open. Yeah, I gotta do some, I gotta do my Roger Stone research because I've gone back and forth on Roger Stone. Sometimes I think he's interesting and cool, and other times I think he's a scumbag. So I, but either way, does he, does he deserve to be in jail right now or prison when other people have done the same things? Like, literally. And they just go, oh, just you're okay. So many people have lied that same way and they don't go to jail. I, you know, it's kind of fucking crazy. So we'll talk about it. Jake DeMarco will be on the Raw Review tonight. I am not going to Raw. I'm not going to Monday Night Raw tonight. I'm, I think I'm going to stay home and just work here. Um, even though Raw's in Boston tonight, I'm not going to go. Uh, AEW Bash at the Beach was announced. That's on Twitter. Check that out if you're near Miami. It's going to be fun. Raw will probably suck tonight, I'm betting. Um, even though it's in Boston, it will probably be a mess. <laughs> What's up, Zemo? Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hate Vic Joseph. Uh, Vic Joseph took my job. Uh, yeah, I can't wait for NWA Power tomorrow, Dave. That's going to be fun. Uh, will Jake be on the show? Yes, Jake will be reviewing the show with me tonight. Unless there's something wrong with him, I don't know about. But uh, yeah, he should be here tonight. Should be a good review. Come party with us after Monday Night Raw tonight. I'll have a couple videos coming up soon and then some other shit. And I'll talk to you guys then. Later, everybody. Keep it wet.